Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy JC. Everyday Thoughts is in the building. How's everybody doing today? Everybody gather around. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> and um, today's topic is we got to stop doing the bare minimum. Uh, what's going on, Sadie? How's everybody doing today? But basically, we just got to start doing the bare minimum. Um, us as men, we, we like to be a goal oriented. We go after what we want. And, uh, yeah, and there's no other aspect of life where we can just do the bare minimum and get by. Uh, we're still like we're still in grade school, just getting a 70. It's just doing decent, it's just passing. But no other level where you can give 70 percent is acceptable. You know, not your job, not your career, not your body, not your health. So. You know, we have to take that into consideration, especially we do decide to get into a relationship. Um, we got to put more of effort into it. You know, just take the initiative to make dates, take the initiative to go out there and approach and uh, quit trying to be so passive. Uh, women like men who are aggressive go for what they want. And, uh, yeah, what's going on, Jolly? What's going on, everybody? You know, a lot of times we talk about the Pookie, the Ray Ray, et cetera, but the one trait that they have, they got the assertiveness, they got the aggressive, and they go out there and approach, you know. So, once again, you the type of man that's sitting up there on PlayStation and um, on Facebook all day, not being productive, not putting yourself out there, then, you know, that's what you're going to get. You know, you're not going to be able to get nobody because you're your cover zone. You're not going out there, so what can you really expect? And also, too, it comes down to relationships. It's like we get our heart, you know, sold to basketball, football, baseball. But when it comes down to a woman, it's just we just tend to do the bare minimum. You know, it's like, you know, we're so anxious to – what's going on, Ashley? Yeah, we're just so anxious to, you know, play basketball or give our full energy to work. But down, come down to a woman or just in general, we just tend to just sit – to tend to do the, the bare minimum, you know, that's really unacceptable, you know? Like, we should do, you know, want more, expect more out of, our, out of ourselves. And then a lot of times we sit here, want to complain about the women and stuff, or what she's not putting out. But once again, whatever we, you know, see, you know, give to her, what she's going to reproduce. So we're doing the bare minimum, then how can we really expect her woman to, you know, put out, you know, good diamonds or, our harvest our seeds or we're giving her, you know, spoiling seeds, etc. you know. What's going on? What's going on, Ash? What's going on, everybody? But yeah, though, like I said, I mean, like I said, that woman, you really shouldn't really accept the bad minimum, you know, because, like I said, he wants you, he's going to go after you, he's going to pursue you, you know. Like I said, we want that job, we want that promotion, we want to get on the basketball team, we want to pass that test, we want to get out of um, different situations. We're going to study, we're going to make sure that we um, we're going to make sure that we get to it and whatever it is. So we're going to until we go after what we want. So I may just do it at a bare minimum. Doesn't want to be creative. Don't want to be to take the initiative to take you out or just plan something for you. Then, you know, you got to kind of question yourself. Like, why do I keep allowing this type of behavior? What's going on, Mario? What's going on, Lori? What's going on, Alicia? You know? Like I said, you can't just give out the bare minimum and then just expect the woman just to, you know, follow grace. You gotta, you gotta keep putting, pushing out. You know, a lot of times you're talking about she nagging, she nagging, she nagging. Or well, what happens when you on the basketball court? Don't they expect a certain level of performance from you when you're at work? You still have to always produce. But cut down to a woman, you feel like she nagging. The only thing she's trying to do is push you to get to greater heights because she sees. The king in you. Yeah, she, she type of woman that's patient with you. She, you know, see the life in you. She, she can take king into you. Then all she wants is just the best in you. But a lot of times, you know, a lot of men they do, they do really bad job with uh, constructive criticism. You know, it's like how can you be critical of her, critiquing you? But if your coach tell you, okay, you need to run this play a little bit better. If your, if your boss wants you to, you know, do this a certain way, put this in a certain way, or key or key in on this then it's okay, but coming out to a woman, you feeling like she's trying to control you, trying to manipulate you. No, she just want the best for you, you know? That's what we got to realize, too. You know, they here to help us, but we don't have no kind of vision. Then it's really like, what's she really trying to help? You know, where you really trying to lead this woman, you know? 
we trying to guide this woman. So, you know, you just gotta do a better job in all all aspects. You know, like I said, we go hard for everything. Got down to a woman, we just wanna do the bare minimum, wanna text, we wanna, you know, don't wanna go out, always have excuses, but you expect her to be okay with it, but you're not assimilating, you're not, you know, penetrating her mind throughout the day, then what you expect at night, you know? Like, you done worked all day, you ain't checked up on her, you ain't see what's going on, you ain't checking to see if she eating, you don't know if she got any kind of mood swings, if she had a bad day, but you expect to have her to have sex, with sex with you at the end of the day? Come on now, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna be in, she ain't gonna be in the mood because you ain't really, you ain't really pursuing her, you ain't really going after her, you know? So you wanna be pursuing, you know? You just try to give seven percent out there playing basketball, playing football. You already know you ain't gonna be able to last. Cause there's always gonna be guys trying to get your spot. There's always guys coming at her. Always gonna be guys that's gonna be taller than you, it's gonna be bigger than you, it's gonna have more strength than you. So you always gotta keep yourself in competition. You always gotta make sure that you you doing you holding stuff down for your own self. That like, can no other man get what I got, you know what I mean? So, you know. You hold it down, then you know, well likely she will reciprocate. She is type of it's all or some men, bro. It's some men. I don't know why you keep saying that, Mario. It's all it's some men. There's some men that's doing good. There's a lot of men that are doing good though, but I'm just saying with the ones who aren't, you know. And you wanna keep complaining about women day in and day out. I'm like, what are you complaining for? Got a lot of good women out here waiting for a leader, like waiting for a man that ain't gotta sit there and raise, you know. A lot of women they looking they're not looking for another dependent, but once again, she got to be her master in the role because there's not enough men to to be in the master in the role to balance balance out the, uh, her feminine energy, you know? I'm going on, told you. Like I said, we keep all these labels, why she's so strong, why she's so independent, you know? Like, well, she, like I said, she don't got no choice but to be strong and independent, you know? I tell you something about all men. I ain't talking about all men. Justin, you, you, you've been following me for a minute now. You know what I'm, you know what I'm about. I'm all about black men accountability. It starts with us, with the head. So I can't sit up here and try to blame women for a lot of stuff because it's a reflection of the man. How we not reproducing? So you know. But yeah, so that's all I had to really say today. You know, like I said, we just gotta do better. You know, the seven percent. You know, they, they may get you good in school. They get you by in school, but in real life, especially relationships or just in life in general, it's not gonna get you nowhere. So. You know, you got to do a better job. I know I say myself, myself too. I got to get better too. I'm always trying to learn. Y'all you know, trying to grow too. So it ain't just like talk down brothers too. I got to get better myself too. Get on my task too. So, you know, it's all about learning and trying to improve each other, you know. That's what, you know, brotherhood is all about, you know. It's all about improving. It's not about, you know, saying one person is better than the next. It's all about us learning and just trying to grow. Because our women, they do need us. They need that voice. But we ain't stepping up. We, we, we very... Sad, depressed, you know, no kind of leadership. They feel like doing everything on their own. It's like they strong to be independent. Like I said, they want to be in the passion to see for a change and just be depressed and just want the man to take over, take lead like he claims he wants to be. But every time I come down to tight situations, he ain't never he ain't nowhere to be found. He's not there to recover. He's not there to protect that woman. So, you know, you can't be a man. You ain't trying to protect, protect provide, and lay down your life down for that woman. You ain't trying to do that, then kind of man are you, you know? But, yeah, that's all I got to say for today. I'll be back on tonight at 10 o'clock. Y'all go tune in. And so I got to go back. Y'all have a blessed day. And uh, it's easy. And, yeah, make sure y'all check me out on YouTube. Make sure y'all share this video as well, too. And um, everybody's having a blessed day. Uh, peace.